come back Your dreams were your ticket I Welcome back To that same old place that you laughed about Well, the names have all changed since you hung around But those dreams have remained and they've turned around Who'd have thought they'd lead ya? Who'd have thought they'd lead ya? Back here where we need ya Back here where we need ya Yeah, we tease him a lot Cause we got him on the spot Welcome back Hello everybody and welcome back We are so happy to have you back at school And we especially want to welcome our kindergarten And any brand new Morris Brandon students Who will be coming to school for the first time on January 25th and February 1st. I'm your principal, Mr. Bland. And I'm your program administrator, Mr. Hudson. Today, we are going to walk you through and show you some of the safety features and mitigation strategies that we're employing at this school so you can return to learn safely. Each morning, as you arrive in carpool, you will pull all the way around to the main entrance doors. A faculty member will be there to open your car door, but we encourage your students to exit on their own if they are able to. All students in grades K, 1, and 2 will each enter through their own individual grade level doors. When you get dropped off at carpool, you will simply gather your belongings and enter through the main entrance for kindergarten, the media center for first grade, or the first set of doors down there for our second grade. Be sure you are ready with all of your belongings before you exit your vehicle. We are anticipating a large number of carpool students, so we have to be ready when it's time to get out of our car. We have also extended arrival to 8.15 a.m. to allow for a longer drop-off time. At each door, you will enter single file and wait patiently for your temperature to be checked while practicing social distancing to the greatest extent possible. We will have one staff member taking your touch-free temperature and another logging it on a spreadsheet. Once your temperature is checked, you are free to head straight to your teacher's classroom and be sure to follow those directional arrows. Don't worry if you aren't quite sure where your homeroom class is. There will be plenty of adults around to help you get where you are going. For students that need breakfast, your breakfast will be waiting for you on your hallway. Thanks, Mr. Hudson. Now, I want to begin to cover the several mitigation strategies that we will be using to help keep you, our students, and staff safe during our return and learn. So let's take a look at what we have around the building that will soon become familiar to all of our students. So one of the biggest changes you will see this year is that of wearing masks. Students and staff at all times must wear a cloth face covering in order to keep themselves and others safe at all times. You may also have the option to wear a face shield if you would like, but a face shield cannot replace a cloth mask. Did you forget your mask one day? Don't worry, we will have extra masks on hand each day in case you forget, lose, or damage your mask during the day. Remember, a mask goes over your nose and your mouth. As you enter your class for the first time, you may notice that your desk or tables are spaced out a little farther than usual. This is so we can give you enough space to safely learn in your class. You may also notice on your desk that we have placed desk shields. This is just another mitigation strategy that we are using to keep you safe while learning. After all, eating and drinking will all take place in the classroom. Please be careful of your desk shields and be sure not to break them. Now let's talk water filling stations. This school year, we have disabled all of our water fountains in favor of our new water bottle filling stations. It's important that all students bring a water bottle so you can have something to drink out of during the day. Water bottles can be filled in the water filling stations or using the sink in your classroom. In the hallways and around the school, 
you will also notice sanitizing stations. This is where you will get hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer will also be in your classroom, but it is never a replacement for good hand washing. Washing your hands with soap and water is a must and is so important to keep us germ free. We are lucky to have sinks, soap, and paper towel dispensers in each classroom. Hand washing should take place at a minimum three times a day, not including when you have just used the restroom. Your teacher has built in time during the day, so be sure to wash your hands. How we move through the hallways and use the restroom will be different than last school year because it is important to keep everyone safe. In the hallways, you will notice arrows that indicate which side of the hallway to walk on and which direction to walk. As you move through the building, remember your mask should be on. You should be on the correct side of the hallway and always spaced out to the greatest extent possible. You will also notice that some staircases will be used for going up and others will be used for going down. So be careful and make sure that you use the correct side of the hallway as you go up and down the stairs. And don't worry boys and girls if you forget because your teachers are here to help you. Right Mr. Hudson? That's right. Recess. Recess is super important for us and we want all of our students to enjoy 30 minutes of outside play every day when it is not raining. In order to keep all of our students and staff safe, the playgrounds will be split into four recess zones. Your class will be assigned to a different recess zone each day or even each week. So pay careful attention to where each zone is and what zone your teacher told you to play in that day. While you may see some friends in other classes playing across the field, it's really important you stay with your class and in your zone each day during recess. This is Recess Zone 1 for the Primary Center. Dismissal will primarily take place in your classroom. Students will be dismissed one bus at a time and will always arrive by bus and leave by bus from the gymnasium. Walkers and car riders will be dismissed from the classroom. Each day, your teacher will have a dismissal sheet shared with you on your class's digital board. Be sure to pay attention if you see your name appear. That means your carpool ride is here or an adult is here to pick you up. Don't worry if you aren't paying attention or can't read yet. Your teacher will be sure to let you know that it's time to dismiss. Aside from wearing a mask, it's also important that you bring these items each day to Morris Brandon. First, a digital device, like a Chromebook or an iPad. Since we won't be sharing devices or a computer lab, this is super important. Depending on your age, your teacher may have you store these in your classrooms each night. Also, don't forget to bring a headset or earbuds so others can't hear what you're working on. Don't forget to bring a water bottle for drinking since water fountains are disabled. And of course, a snack and lunch if you are not eating the school food. As you can see, we've been working hard and are so excited to have you back with us at the end of the month. Together, we can have all of our students that choose return for in-person learning back four days a week. Remember, if you're ever not feeling well, be sure to let your parents know before you leave the house in the morning. If you don't feel well during the day, don't worry either. Our nurses are here to take care of you and contact your parents for pickup if that is necessary. We can't wait to see you soon. We got him on the spot. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back.